Hey family, welcome or welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, we are Eric and Veronica Graham, and we're the founders of Eye for Africa. On our channel, we discuss our love for all things Africa and our impending repatriation back to the motherland. All right. Today, we're going to talk about how we were able to take some of the stress out of planning our vacation to the motherland. Yes, a lot of it. Yes. I got to be honest with you. I was a little bit stressed when I thought about, you know, how we were going to be able to plan. You were a lot stressed. Okay. I was a lot stressed <laughs> about how we were going to plan our upcoming vacation because we were going to do, we were doing this on our own. Mm -hmm. And then I remembered, of course, I have Miss Organized sitting next to me and uh, <laughs> it kind of eased the tension a little bit and, and kind of helped me be stress free because I know once she puts her mind to something, it, it's lights out. She's just going to take it and run with it and everything will be all right. This is true. All right. In reality, when I set my mind to something, I'm pretty much going to take off to it. So, yeah. and, and I understand, I understand the stress of trying to plan a trip to an entirely different continent mm -hmm. on your own without yeah. the assistance of someone else. And we mm -hmm. did look into tourism companies and things like that to yeah. help us, but ultimately we decided it would be a lot more cost effective yes. for us to plan it ourselves. And for me personally, because we were going to celebrate my 50th birthday in addition mm. to Valentine's Day and our anniversary. I mean, you, you, you see what she did there? So it's, <laughs> it's, it's that's, we, we can dive in that a little bit. There's no co coincidence that all of those things fall in February. So she knew what she was doing when, when, when we decided we were going to get married. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got her birthday, Valentine's Day, and this anniversary. Okay, but yeah, we're getting a little bit off topic. Gifts yeah. all around. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I definitely agree with you. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that we wanted to make sure we did was to make sure that we notified our banks. Yeah. Uh, that we were going to be on a different continent. That was very important. Nothing worse than being in line at Woolworth, buying a bag of oranges, and you get up to the register, and the cashier leans over and says, your card was declined. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> so, yeah, so we definitely don't want that. So that was one of the things that we needed to make sure we did right off the bat. Yeah, absolutely. And for me, uh, one of the things I was going to mention is that, again, when we go back to planning, one of the reasons that we decided to spend it ourselves is that, yeah, you do have travel companies that the rates they vary. Mm -hmm. But for me, because we were celebrating so many different momentous milestones, yeah. I prefer to save the money that we would have been having to spend for someone else to plan it for us mm -hmm. for excursions. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like that worked out perfect because mm -hmm. we did so much. Yeah, we did a lot. While we were in South Africa. Yeah. And had we taken that extra money and paid it to someone else, we may not have been able to do as much as we did because the cost, when you compare them, it can be quite a big difference. Yeah, yeah. seriously, yeah. So for me, one of the first things that um, I wanted to do, it was really important for us to have some place to stay. And we <laughs> toyed around with whether we were going to do Airbnb, which mm -hmm. we do know people who've done yeah. Airbnb and had a wonderful experience. But for us, again, we were trying to contain cost so that we could visit more excursions mm -hmm. and see more of South Africa. All right. So ultimately we decided on a hotel. Yeah. And in doing that, it was important to me to find a hotel that included at least breakfast. We yeah. ended up lucking out and staying at a hotel that offered not only breakfast, mm. but also dinner yeah. every single night. And we're both vegan and they offered amazing vegan options. So it yeah. worked out perfectly. If you all have watched our videos before, you'll know that we stayed at the At Santon Hotel. Yes. And it was uh, incredible. I, I, I can't even describe. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I agree. Uh, definitely, uh, you did your due diligence on that one Thank and finding you. a great hotel. I and mean, the way that I found it yeah. too. One of the things for me, I, I'm a very, very big researcher. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I did um, when we decided that we were going to stay at a hotel, started researching my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> one of the things that you might notice is a recurring theme is whenever someone travels, one of the first things they tend to do is a hotel tour. Mm -hmm. They'll do a room tour. As soon yeah. as they get there, they'll do a tour. So I went to visit some of my, you know, 
YouTubers that I actually absolutely love mm -hmm. who either live in South Africa or they had recently traveled there. And I would look at their hotel tours or their room tours, mm -hmm. see where they stayed. I would jot down the names if it looked like someplace that was interesting or someplace that we would enjoy staying. Mm -hmm. And then I would write the information down, then I'd go research it. So I probably had about maybe four or five different hotels that I looked into. I did the research, went onto their websites. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really, really easy to do your research or due diligence in South Africa because it's the infrastructure, everything is just, it's really pretty comparable to the States, I mm -hmm. would think, would you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so it's easy to do that, to do that research. So I did that, narrowed it down to a couple. When I got down to the final two, showed those to my husband and mm -hmm. it was overwhelming that we decided to stay at the at Santon Hotel. Yeah. And one of the reasons was not only was it beautiful, but it also offered packages that yeah. included breakfast and dinner. And even in doing that, I instantly go to the menu because I want to make sure just because they offer breakfast and dinner, if they don't offer options that we can enjoy, then that's just a waste of money. So yeah. it was really refreshing to see that they had vegan options as well. And the food was fantastic. Yep. So you get a definitely get a, a, a check on that one. <laughs> Hotel accommodations were great. Uh, I had no complaints. Yeah. Uh, at, at all. It the was amazing. Service was great. Food was Staff great. was incredible. Yeah. So they answered any questions we had and they were they were really helpful with helping us get Ubers. You know, we'll get to that a little bit onto the mm -hmm. video. But yeah, super, super, super helpful staff. So I, I definitely, like I said, great. Got a good check mark on that one. Yeah. So for me, uh, moving on to the next thing, we wanted to make sure that we had uh, great restaurant a great restaurant experience and so yeah. since that's kind of in my field you always tell me hey you how do you always find such great restaurants and what so he you know them just like that i there's certain keywords that you have to put in when you're searching whether it's you know something for date night mm -hmm. something for anniversary restaurants that that have have a good ambiance you put those keywords into your searches and then certain restaurants will pop up. So one of the ones that we found was a uh, Marvel restaurant. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, it was, We went there yeah. on our, on, on, for was your it birthday? My birthday? Yep, for our okay. birthday. We went there for our birthday. Now, what I will say is you wanna make sure that if you can book a reservation uh, ahead of time, because a lot of times popular restaurants fill up and you may not be able to get in. So and Marvel was packed. Yeah, it was packed. But I yeah. made sure that before we left to come to Joburg that I already secured a, a reservation for us. And uh, it, the restaurant didn't, uh, it didn't disappoint. It was great. Uh, the ambiance was great. Uh, the people were great. Now I will say uh, I, I put on the reservations that we wanted to be on the at the <laughs> chef's table. So we were thinking that you know we were going to have a table. Uh, that was, I guess, close to the chef. And when we got there, it was really close to the chef. So close, it was almost in the kitchen. Yeah, so it was pretty much, it was in the kitchen. <laughs> so we uh, immediately talked to the manager and he was really helpful and he got us moved to a, a really, really nice table. Yeah. We told him that it was my wife's birthday and uh, he hooked us up and, and the food was, was amazing. Incredible. Yeah, from the, we, we had a starter, we had a salad and then we had a main course and all three were, were wonderful. So they even had, I believe they had vegan options for dessert, but mm -hmm. we were stuffed. Yeah, we were stuffed. We couldn't yeah, eat we couldn't it was eat incredible. Any, yeah, we couldn't eat anything else. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's just a little nugget for you to uh if you do or if you are researching restaurants to make sure that you book those reservations ahead of time. Yeah. Just because you never know if they're gonna be packed or not. Yeah. So yeah. That's an excellent point. And again, our hotel did offer dinner for us, mm -hmm. but we knew that there would be times that either we would be out mm -hmm. because of excursions mm -hmm. or a special occasion. Like I said, my birthday, our anniversary, Valentine's Day, and we may have wanted to just try something different. Yeah. So very important to do your due diligence and research and find restaurants that you might be interested in visiting and get reservations on the book mm -hmm. ahead of time. And if anyone has eaten at Marvel Restaurant, Drop us a comment down below. Yeah. And certainly, I know we're not the only ones who would agree that they have outstanding food. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, good job, honey. You did a great job with that restaurant. I appreciate that. Enjoying today's video? Then please subscribe and enable all notifications so you'll never miss an upload. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. You're, You're most, most welcome, welcome here. here. 
All right, so my next thing that was super important was making sure that we had transportation. Um, because, <laughs> yeah. we, because we booked this, did everything on our own, transportation, I would say, was probably one of the more nerve-wracking things for me because I think with the hotel, it's a hotel. You look, you have the reviews, mm -hmm. if everything looks okay. Not to mention, I was looking at referrals from other YouTubers as well. Right. But when it came to the transportation, I was a little nerve, or I should say uneasy about that just because you don't necessarily know who you're yeah. booking. It's, it's again, yeah. it's not just a different country, it's a different continent. Yes. And you're not really familiar with the service. We had things that were booked that were super early and I'm like, oh, what if yeah. they don't come on time? Like you just, you never know. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I did was I, same thing, more research, <laughs> watching my favorite YouTubers. And I remember <laughs> that one of them, I believe this was Valele, I think, I'm pretty sure it was Valele and I, her channel, I can't think of her, her channel name, but her name is Valele. She's a native South African, incredible woman. She's actually been featured several times on Ashley uh, in Africa's, mm -hmm. Ashley in Africa's channel. Wonderful lady. She went somewhere, I, actually, I believe it was the time when Ashley and her family visited Valele for the holidays, mm -hmm. perhaps. And they happened to be, there was like a transportation, like a van that she had. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that. It, well, not only that, we literally were watching the video, we <laughs> paused it and took my iPad and <laughs> enlarged it so that we could see the name of the transportation yeah. company. Yeah. We ended up doing that. We had that one. We had another one. Um, ultimately, we ended up with about maybe five different transportation companies that I found in similar ways. Mm -hmm. And just through doing quotes and, you know, of course, their customer service. I am yeah. really, really big on customer service. So from, you know, just kind of narrowing it down, process of elimination, we ended up going with our particular driver that I ended up finding... He was not a referral, I believe I found him on Google, but he had amazing reviews, mm -hmm. like top tier reviews. And so I ended up reaching out to him. Customer service ended up being bar none and he had the, the best rates. And on top of that, he was willing to allow, to allow us to place a deposit mm -hmm. initially. So yeah. some transportation companies, they'll want you to pay the whole thing up front. For me, I'm very skeptical yes. of doing that just because again, we're coming to a new place I don't really know the person that I am looking to hire. On the other end. Yeah. yeah and sure. so for me, paying all of that money up mm -hmm. front was just not something that I was particularly comfortable doing. Yeah. So the person that we hired, he was very, very happy to allow us to pay a deposit up front. And then we ended up paying the remainder of the balance once we got there, which I was perfectly okay with. Yeah, he was right. He was amazing. Yeah, he, given not, with yeah, Mascot. Yeah. Not, not, Given, yep, with given. given with Mass Cop, yeah. We'll put his uh, information down below. And not too. only was given, he was always on time. He was mm -hmm. early. Uh, he was early every single. He was amazing. Yeah, we I, we we weren't late to anything. And, and yep. he, as he was driving us to the different places that we were going, he had some history knowledge on mm -hmm. on different things. So yeah, because he was a native yeah, South African yeah, as well. Yeah, so it it was great. Given was mm -hmm. given was amazing. So yeah, um, yeah well, another a good. Notching your belt on oh, that one. you know what? Something else that I wanted to mention that I forgot about. Be leery. This is something that you might not be familiar with when you're, if you decide to book a trip on your own like this. When doing the transportation, one of the things that we learned is that lots of times your drivers will put notes in your your agreement mm -hmm. that you're signing with them or when you're when they're giving you pricing. They'll put information in there for like, say, a tour guide. So say, for example, what we did is we let our tour guide or our transportation company know all of the different places that we were interested in going. Mm -hmm. And he would give us rates for that. And then there would also be a side note for an additional rate in the event you wanted a tour guide. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we learned when we were there, and this could be different from some tour companies, for example, if they're not registered, but what we learned is number one, lots of the places that you'll go to, which, you know, we went to like the monkey sanctuary, mm -hmm. um, safari, all of those things, they're going to more than likely provide a tour guide when you get there. Yes. That's the first thing. The second thing that we learned is that lots of times if you're a tour company, if they're a registered tour company in South Africa, they don't get charged those fees. 
So that was something that we learned that we had to, it's, it's not necessary. It's obviously it's your choice, right. but what we learned was it was not necessary to pay those extra fees mm -hmm. because lots of times those extra fees wouldn't be charged to them yes. if their transportation company or their tour company was registered with South Africa. And then also lots of the tours that you take oftentimes, and this could be a matter of placing a phone call, lots of times they would provide a tour guide for you anyway. So be leery yes. of those extra fees when yeah. you see those and just do a little bit more research. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, that's, that's a great point. Yeah. Uh, I know we were sitting there and we were wondering, like, yeah. yeah, you know, do we, why don't we really need to pay yeah. our, you know, our driver for a guide? Because we knew that most places would already yeah. have. So we had automatically defined yeah. them. Yeah, so. Good thing we did. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, I know I goodness. keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. The only other thing, <laughs> <laughs> the only yeah. other thing is that we utilize our transportation company for main, major things that we that we went to. Mm -hmm. But if it was something like just local tourism, say going to a restaurant, for example, or going to the mall, things like that, we hired Uber. Uber yeah. is super, super inexpensive in South Africa, especially in comparison to the States. Yeah. Really reasonable. So we did a combination of the two. We did the transportation company and Uber for anything that was local. And, and honestly, like I, and this is just me being ignorant, you know, definition of ignorant, ignorant is not knowing. Right. Uh, I didn't even think, I didn't know that they, that Uber ran in uh, South Africa. So when we got there, uh, to find out that they did have Uber, it was, uh, it, it was pretty, pretty, wonderful. pretty wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All right. And the customer service was great with Uber. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, can I get in now? You're like, I mean, you got something else? All right. You can all right. Get it. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> So something else that was that's uh, really important, well, for us was being able to navigate the time difference because uh, South Africa is eight hours ahead of us. Uh, so being able to make sure that we were calling and trying to actually be able to get someone when we called uh, was was important too. So that eight hour time time difference. That's big. Yeah, it's real big. By the because, time we're getting up, they're getting yeah, off. Sometimes we could, yeah, like or mm -hmm. if you if if we're at work. Mm -hmm. then it's already early in the morning in yeah. South Africa. So uh, you did a lot of emailing. Yeah, lots of email. But what was great is the places that we interacted with, their customer service was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So lots of times if I ended up having to email in the evening, by the time I woke up yeah. the next day, they were replying. Yeah. Like they're very responsive, the yeah. people that we yeah. interacted with. Yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't a problem, but there is a major, for us, there was an eight hour time yeah. difference. Eight hour time difference. So. Yeah. Again, it may not be everyone for everyone. You know, time change, time difference could be different. But mm -hmm. for us, uh, it was a it was a, a big change. So yeah. just knowing how to navigate around that and be timely with your emails. Mm -hmm. And like like my wife said, luckily everyone that we emailed were, was really timely in responding yeah, to are. us. So we were able to uh, to book some some good with some good people. So yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right. So for me, my last one was actually locating and scheduling uh, the tours and the different excursions okay. that we yeah. visited. You put a lot of a lot of time. I put that. that probably took me the most amount of time because it was super important and I was comparing rates because mm -hmm. again, I wanted to have a great time, but I wanted it to be with a reputable company and I wanted it to be cost effective. Mm -hmm. So for me, same thing. This goes right back to that research. If there was something in particular that I wanted to do, I researched it and found there's so many different things that you can do yeah. in South Africa. It's incredible. So everything that I wanted to do, I was able to find. For me, one of the biggest things that I really, really wanted to do was the Monkey Sanctuary. Yes. So again, researching my favorite YouTubers <laughs> and you know finding who would visit Monkey Sanctuaries and researching and figuring it out. Then you locate that company, you do your research, you locate it on the internet, you look on there, you can look up their rates. We did the same thing for different museums. Mm -hmm. You want to look up their rates, their hours of operation, all of those things so that you can plan your day. We had our entire itinerary planned out before we left and I was able to do that by researching, finding all of these companies, seeing what their hours of operation were and planning those in our schedule. So I literally had it planned out day by day mm -hmm. for the duration of our trip and it worked out perfectly. Yeah. 
Another thing was like the hot air balloon. So that for me was very important. We yeah. did that on my birthday, mm -hmm. which actually the day after we arrived. But lots of these things like this, with the hot air balloon, with the safari, those are things that tend to start super, super early. Mm -hmm. And they tend to be like at least a couple of hours away. Yeah. So in instances like that, what I did was research because it was so important and those two things were probably the priciest mm -hmm. of the excursions that we took. Right. So for me, it was not optional to not get there on time. And again, our transportation person that we hired was amazing, but we didn't know that when mm -hmm. we were going in. We didn't know that until we got there. So mm -hmm. for me, I checked to see if they offered transportation for these different things. Again, the hot air balloon and the, the safari, mm -hmm. and they did. So I compared the price and we ended up going with them because for the how did no? Yeah, the hot air balloon they picked us up was it like three thirty in the morning or something like it that? It was five thirty. Five thirty. Oh, they, they oh wait, I'm sorry. We got yeah, there right. at like yeah, the hot air hot air balloon was definitely three thirty. They in the picked morning. us up. Yeah. So for me, you know, being here in the states and planning all of this, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, we have to leave our hotel <laughs> at three thirty in the morning and mm -hmm. able to get to this place without knowing yeah. our transportation person i was just not comfortable yeah. doing that and so we ended up hiring the uh, transportation services from the hot air balloon and then also transportation services from the safari mm -hmm. they both ended up being amazing they were timely but then i also felt like that gave us peace of mind yeah. because if they didn't get there early it's like well this is your fault it's mm -hmm. not our fault so i felt that was peace of mind because we were protected because one of the things they kept saying was you miss your window, they, you get no refund. They so, stress that. And yeah. so for me, I didn't want to take a chance with our personal transportation, not mm -hmm. knowing, you know, have not being familiar with, with who we were hiring mm -hmm. and then ended up being late and forfeiting our money yeah. and not being able to yeah. go on our tour. So yeah. that worked out perfectly. So yeah. that's definitely something you can do as well. When you're going far out, if it's something that's super far, super early start time, mm -hmm. see if they offer transportation um, so that you can protect yourself. That way as well, and that worked out for us. All right. And I think that is all I have. That's how you, are you sure? I'm positive. I'm getting ready to talk. Are you sure? <laughs> <I'm positive. laughs> all right. So something else uh, that you want to make sure, and it's very important, is making sure that you get with your cell phone companies uh, to make important. sure that, that you, they offer some type of international plan. Yeah. So you're not stuck with hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, when you uh, return, if mm -hmm. you're coming back to the States. Once you get your phone bill, then it's like 800 bucks because or more. you were in Rome the whole time. So make yeah. sure that, you know, I, that was one of the things that I did. You know, yeah. we traveled. It was a little easier for us because we had already been on the continent before yeah. when we went to Uganda. Mm -hmm. So they just kind of kept that on our uh, on our phones and it just reactivated itself once we got yeah. uh, to Joburg. That so, was pretty neat. Yeah, it, it, it was. <laughs> and, it, and it wasn't costly at all uh we we talked a lot with our kids and family so mm -hmm. yeah just please 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 make sure that you uh get that international plan on your phone before you you go over to johannesburg i would say that's probably as important if not more important mm -hmm. than your bank yeah because lots of times your bank you know if something happens and it gets declined you can call them and they'll but having that international phone plan, mm -hmm. that's something I don't think a lot of people think about. Yeah. And it's very, very important. Yeah. So, yeah, great job. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know so. so, yeah, I think uh, so those like I say, those are just some of the some of the things that made our trip uh, stress free. Yeah. Uh, she does. And a lot more cost effective. Yeah, a lot, a lot more cost effective. That's key. A lot mm -hmm. more cost effective. Like she does. A, she does an outstanding job with that. Yeah, she is <laughs> definitely misorganized over here. So, you, so yeah, good job. Thank you. And I think that will do it. So if there's anything else that you all can think of, if there's, you know, something that if maybe say someone has planned their own trip and mm -hmm. there was something we may not have mentioned that might help some of the people that are watching that yeah. are considering yeah. planning their own trip, just go ahead and drop a comment down below so that we can go ahead and compile all of these things and be a valued resource to yep. someone else who might be planning a trip abroad. Yep, Cause that's what it's Please all see. about. It networking, is. networking, right. networking. Each networking. one teach one. Yeah. I all love right. that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, family. Well, I think that's going to be it for us on this video. So, uh, if you haven't, please be sure to 
like, subscribe, and comment with anything that you think we may have missed. And, uh, and share this with somebody that you think, if you know someone that's in the process of planning a yeah. trip and they're looking for some resources, please share this with them. It may, be, sure. may be helpful. Yeah, for sure. We, we love to be able to like spread the wealth, for sure. Yes, absolutely. So until next time, guys. All right. Peace. Bye for now.